530. And new at 530, Benton Harbor area schools are millions of dollars in debt, and a state board has decided the district is in a probable financial stress. Now it is up to the school board to decide how to deal with it. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk. James, a lot of people are wondering why something wasn't done sooner. The superintendent says a lot of urban schools are in the same boat, Jennifer. He says this is not a case of mismanagement. The problems are lower enrollment and a declining tax base. Benton Harbor Area Schools is about $15.5 million in debt. Calvin Britton School is a reminder of the ongoing financial struggles the district is dealing with. The elementary school was closed a few years ago to save money, and now parents like Jessica Summers, who has three kids in the district, are hoping more schools won't close. I hate to see them in debt, and yeah, they need to get out of debt and do more better financially for for all the kids sake and parents sake. Superintendent Dr. Leonard Seawood says at this time there are no plans to close schools or lay off employees. After a review of the district's finances, a state board decided the district was in probable financial stress. A spokesperson for the board says the decision was based on several pieces of information. Including uh, the fact that Benton Harbor Area Schools has been in deficit since the 2006-2007 fiscal year. Now the district has four options, a consent agreement, an emergency financial manager, a neutral evaluation, or bankruptcy. The superintendent thinks the best option for the district is a consent agreement. Under current law, the district has until 2016 to pay off its debt. But the superintendent says a consent agreement would give the district a little bit more time, but there would also be some added restrictions. Summers just hopes the district gets its debt resolved soon so her kids can get the best education possible. It's like a small town, so they need all the education they can get. The superintendent says the district is currently up to date on all of its bills. Now, it's important to note that the district had the majority of its debt before the current superintendent was hired. The governor will now appoint a team to look into the district's financial issues even more. That could take up to 60 days. Reporting from the Live Desk, I'm James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. It'll be